Well, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to the Healthy Hustle today by New Earth. My name is Kevin Larson. Excited to be with you because we've got some fun things to talk about. Adopting a sustainable, eco-friendly lifestyle is one of the best, best things you can do to help keep this planet beautiful and healthy for years to come. But if you're new to sustainable living, the thought of getting started can seem pretty daunting at first, especially if you are at a loss for where to start. So I'm here to reassure you that living a sustainable lifestyle doesn't have to be as hard as it sounds, right? You don't need to move off the grid and, you know, manufacture your own electric car. Uh, although those, you know, options are good for some people. Many of us can make a bigger impact if we start small. That stuff adds up very quickly. You can start living a more sustainable lifestyle today by making small and practical changes to your daily routine that'll add up to have a big impact on our planet. And today, I'm here with some tips to help you get started. But before we get there, it's important to understand exactly what we mean when I say sustainable lifestyle, air quotes added. See, according to the United, Na United Nation Environment Program, living a sustainable life means understanding how our lifestyle choices impact the world around us and finding ways for everyone to live better and lighter. In simpler terms, living sustainably is about making conscious choices to reduce the impact your lifestyle has on the environment, which will help preserve it for generations to come. And one of the key ways to live a sustainable lifestyle is to understand that a healthy environment provides us with an abundance of resources. But those resources can be exhausted if the environment is not properly taken care of. Therefore, we should all be striving to use our resources in harmony with the capabilities of that environment, which is what sustainable living really is all about. When the environment, the environment is being taken care of, the world, its ecosystem, and its people are going to benefit. And there are many benefits to living a sustainable lifestyle that we can appreciate. For starters, a healthy environment keeps the air clear and the water clean for all the plants, animals, and us humans that need it. It also means that there will be sufficient food, water, and other natural resources that can be shared among us. And most importantly, sustainable living ensures that the future of this planet is bright and healthy for us, our children and our children's children included. So growing up, many of us were taught basic sustainability practices without even realizing it. For example, you were taught to turn off the tap while you're brushing your teeth or turn off the water when you're washing the dishes or maybe your parents kept the thermostat turned down at night or maybe while you were on vacation those they're all great habits that can contribute to a more sustainable life but here are some more practical and eco-friendly changes that you can make in your day-to-day -day life number one minimize energy consumption You'd be amazed how much energy you use every day without even realizing it. While it may not be obvious at first glance, excessive energy use directly impacts the environment by reducing the amount of power you use. You'll be helping to reduce carbon emissions from power plants and preserve natural resources. So how can you minimize the amount of energy you consume? Well, one step is simply swap out those incandescent light bulbs for LED light bulbs. They're lots more energy efficient. Additionally, get yourself in the habit of turning off lights when you leave the room or even unplugging appliances while they're not in use. Other simple ways to, to conserve energy involve cleaning or replacing air filters as recommended, right? Air drying dishes and clothes 
or washing your clothes in cold water instead of different forms of hot. Number two, conserve water. Water is a valuable resource that all living things on this planet need in order to survive. While 70% of the planet is covered in water, a vast majority of it is either inaccessible or not safe for consumption. So taking steps to conserve this precious resource helps ensure that there's plenty of water circulating through the ecosystem for plants and wildlife to utilize. As a bonus, conserving water in your home also helps with energy conservation because power is needed for things like filtering, heating, and pumping. Some easy ways to conserve water include fixing leaking faucets or only running the dishwasher or washing machine with a full load, uh, choosing to shower instead of taking a full bath, and only filling a tea kettle with the amount of water that you know you're going to need. Additionally, you can consider installing water-efficient toilets and faucets to help you conserve water without even thinking about it. Depending on where you live, you may also be able to collect rainwater that you can use for many things like watering your garden or washing your car. Another way is to reduce, reuse, and recycle. This is a thing that we are all now being taught, especially our children, that we can make a big difference when it comes to protecting the environment. So let's tackle these in order, right? Reduce simply means cutting back on the amount of trash that we generate. And it's the best method we can practice to keep the environment clean. Some simple ways to reduce waste include composting food scraps, or saying no to plastic water bottles and choosing to buy products with little or no packaging. One of the best ways to reduce waste is to find ways to reuse items instead of tossing them in the trash. And this can be as simple as using reusable items like lunch boxes, grocery bags, or glass water bottles. If you're the creative type, you can draw on that creativity to find new ways to reuse old items. For example, a glass jar can be repurposed to become storage for your bathroom. Or old bath towels can be cut up to be used as cleaning rags. Another practical way to reuse is to donate old items to your local thrift shop so they can be enjoyed by someone else. And last and most commonly used is recycling, which involves taking discarded materials and turning them into new products. Things like corrugated cardboard, paper, tin, aluminum, and milk jugs can often be recycled with your local waste. The management company usually has that, has that offer. Once recycled, these items will be turned into new products. For example, cardboard might be used to create paper bags. Maybe milk jugs will be turned into buckets or plastic bottles. Every waste management company has a slightly different recycling program, so be sure to check with them to see what items they accept and make sure to only include those in the bin to avoid slowing down that process. And number four, really important one, I love it, shop local. Food and other items often have to travel hundreds or thousands of miles on trucks or planes before hitting the shelves at the grocery store. This transportation process greatly contributes to air pollution, obviously. And in the case of food, it can also require the use of chemicals to ensure that it is fresh upon arrival. Well, if you're buying from local businesses, that helps to circumvent the need for excess transportation as local businesses often purchase from other local businesses. So whether you choose to buy produce at the farmer's market or purchase wall art from a local artist, you can rest assured that you're helping keep this planet as healthy as possible. As an added bonus, shopping local also helps build stronger community ties and boosts the local economy. Another way I love it is support eco-friendly businesses. And this is a big one. While shopping locally is always the more sustainable option, 
It's a fact that it isn't possible to do this for every single purchase that you make. So when situ situations arise where shopping local isn't an option, take some time, do a little bit of research and purchase your items from an eco-friendly company whenever possible. There are a lot of companies out here today that prioritize protecting the environment. And those companies often choose to do things like use green technology in their production processes or choose packaging that is recyclable. Um, maybe opt for renewable energy sources whenever possible. With a little awareness and some research, you can get a sustainably made and shipped product while also showing your support for companies that put the planet first. Always important. Number six, growing your own food. Growing your own food comes with a variety of benefits for the planet, right? For starters, you'll have full control over how the food is grown, which means you can choose to conserve resources like water, use natural fertilizers, and forego chemicals that are known to be harmful to the environment. And furthermore, much like shopping locally, growing your own food can help cut back on the distance the food has to travel before it lands on your plate. Nothing is shorter than your backyard. I know that growing your own food can sound like a daunting task, but it does not have to be. Making the decision to grow your own food doesn't have to involve having the time or space for a full vegetable garden. It can also look like growing some herbs in a window box or turning your flower bed into a small area to grow a few of your favorite vegetables. Additionally, many areas have community gardens. You can contribute to uh, those community gardens if you don't want to or you don't find and create space in your own home. Number seven, travel thoughtfully. Daily commuting by car, train, or airplane leads to a large amount of carbon emissions and other types of pollution. So if you can, try cycling or walking to places like work or the grocery store. And if that isn't feasible, consider taking advantage of public transportation, which has a smaller carbon footprint than personal vehicles. And when traveling long distances, consider your mode of transportation carefully for shorter trips Taking your own car or taking the train is often more eco-friendly than flying. Planes consume an awful lot of jet fuel. For longer trips, when a flight is required, do your best to choose the most direct flight possible, since taking off and landing consume substantially more fuel than cruising. Choosing flights with the fewest layovers possible is always your most environmentally friendly option. And personally, it's more comfortable. It's a better way to travel. Living a sustainable lifestyle does not have to be as hard as it sounds. From turning off the lights as you leave the room to purchasing products from local businesses, adding these small habits to your daily life can make a huge difference. And that's why we consider simple, eco-friendly habits a big part of living the New Earth life. So go ahead. Join us in making the world a better place by making your lifestyle a little more sustainable. And let us know in the comments if you have any other practical sustainability tips that you'd like to share. We would love to hear them. And with that, folks, that's the Healthy Hustle for today. We will talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.